My name is Margaret. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to LINK. LINK stands for Language Integrated Query. It enables you to query and manipulate data independent of data sources, and it allows native data querying in C Sharp. Here are some reasons why programmers like to use LINK. It provides us with a concise and clear way to express a query. It gives us a simple query language that can be used for multiple data sources. It allows for compile time, name and type checking. And it provides us with a wide range of useful methods. These methods are called standard query operators. There are different ways to write a query. You can use query syntax, method syntax, or mixed syntax. Here is an example of a query written in query syntax. Here is the same query written in method syntax. Query syntax and method syntax are semantically identical. The compiler translates query syntax into the corresponding method calls and there's no performance benefit of using one over the other. Many people find the declarative query syntax easier to read. That's why we have a guideline to prefer query syntax over method syntax. Some queries, however, can only be expressed as method calls. In such situations, we need to use method syntax or mixed syntax. You will see an example of mixed syntax later in this video. Standard query operators are a set of methods that form the link pattern. Those are the methods that are used when expressing a query in method syntax or mixed syntax. They provide query capabilities like filtering, aggregation, sorting, etc. Most standard query operators are extension methods that operate on sequences, like for example I innumerable. Here are some of the standard query operators. They provide lots of useful functionality. They find the first or last element, the minimum, the maximum, they calculate the average or the sum, remove all duplicates, sort a sequence, convert a sequence to an array, etc. Let's look at some examples. Here we have a list of students. Each student has a name, a major, a graduation year and a field that indicates whether a given student is an honor student or not. Sometimes we want to know all the information about the students. However, sometimes we are only interested in part of the information. Link provides a keyword, select, and a corresponding standard query operator. Select allows us to specify which of the columns or fields should be included in the result. In the examples here, we specified that we are only interested in the names. Here you can see the data returned by the query. It includes the names and only the names of all the students. Let's assume we wanted to list the graduation years only. How could that be done? Easy. We could just select the year instead of the name. But what would we need to change if we wanted to select both the name and the year? To answer this question, let's have a look at the method declaration of the standard query operator SELECT. Notice the return type. It is I innumerable T result. This means that the method SELECT returns a sequence. We get to choose the type T result, but it is one type only. If we want to select both the name and the year, we need to combine both name and year into a single type. There are different ways to do that. One possibility would be to combine both name and year into
into a string that would look like this. It would work, however, there's a significant disadvantage. In order to access the name or year later, we would need to parse the string. Let's look for another possibility. We could create a struct that has two properties, a name and a year. That would change our keys like this. Accessing name and year would no longer be a problem. However, it would require us to create an extra data type that might have no usefulness except in the specific context. In C Sharp, we value clear and concise code. So we continue to look for an alternative way to return both the name and the graduation year. C Sharp allows us to create anonymous types. Now, using those anonymous types, our query looks like this. There's the keyword new, followed by curly braces, and between the braces, we have one or more properties. In our case, there are two. The type of the properties are inferred based on the values provided. In our case, the type of name is a string, and the type of year is an int. By default, the names of the properties match the names provided. However, this could be changed if we wanted to. Here, for example, we specified that the second property should be called graduation year. We could make such name changes for any or all of the properties. Here, for example, we specified names for both the properties, the first one, would be called by default name, but we chose that we want to call it S name. The second one would be called by default year, but we specified that we want to call it graduation year. Anonymous types are frequently used in the select clause. They allow us to encapsulate one or more read-only properties into a single object without the need of explicitly defining a type first. When we have another look at the data, we can see that both the names and the years are included in the result. The SELECT clause allows us to select the data of one or multiple columns. But what if we want to select one or multiple rows? That's where filtering comes in. The WHERE clause allows us to filter data. It determines which rows are part of the result. Again. Link provides a keyword and a corresponding standard query operator. In this example, we only want to list honor students. When you look at the data, you can see that all those rows are selected where honor is set to true. For each of those rows, the full student information is returned. But sometimes we do not need all the information of a given student. How would we have to change the query if we wanted to return only the names and majors of the honor students? Give yourself a moment to think about it. We could use an anonymous type, just like this. So far, I've shown you how you can query your data to return certain rows or columns or any combination of both. There's one last thing I want to introduce in this video. And this is the standard query operator, distinct. Distinct returns distinct elements from a sequence. In other words, it removes duplicates so that each element is included only once. Link does not provide a keyword for distinct that could be used in the declarative query syntax. The only way to express this required functionality is by using the method distinct. Notice the parentheses. Here we are using mixed syntax. We are mixing the declarative query syntax with method syntax. Alternatively, we could write the whole query in method syntax. In this video, I gave you a first introduction to link and anonymous types. There are many more things we can do with link. Remember the standard query operators I showed you earlier. You can use them to find a sum or average, to sort elements, group them, and much more.